Today in 2009 Chevrolet Silverado, we're going to show you the Glacier Cable Snow Tire Chains, part number PW3027C. And with this part number, you get two snow chains, one for each side of a truck. All right, this is what the snow chains look like when they're on installed on a tire. In this case, we're actually working with a tire size of 265 by 70 by 17. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. This is what's called a crossbar right here. And we'll go ahead and see that it's actually constructed of cables, but it actually has coils uh, on the go wrapped around the cable itself. So these will move around and shift as needed on a tire, and as well as to go ahead and get some grip on your snow and ice. Okay. Now the cable design continue, is, is actually used in the entire construction of the snow chain. So this is definitely designed for a light duty or occasional use. So to get you out of stuck out of a rough spot in the snow and ice, this will get you to a safe spot. Okay. We install this, uh, this catch and its lever. It actually brings it, uh, tension on the chain and wraps it tighter on a tire. Okay, one thing about the fit on this uh, snow chain is that it actually doesn't come anywhere close to your uh, rim on your wheel, so you don't have to worry about this uh, rubbing on it and creating any damage. All right, now we see how they look like on our tire. Let's go ahead and show you how they install. One thing when you get your snow tire chains is go ahead and do a couple test fits with them like we're showing here. First off, you want to get used to them and make sure what side fits uh, the tire. In this case, we're looking at this edge here. We'll take a look at the, the cross, this is what's called a crossbar here. You notice the hook comes up and towards the top here. You want this always facing the ice and snow and a smooth side here always facing the tire. Okay. All right, when you lay them out and get ready to put them on, the on your uh, tire, we'll go to one end here and show you the, the hooks. All right, now you just notice the hooks here the lar larger two with the lever always goes towards the outside of the tire. And then just a simple catch right here, that always goes towards the inside. And these two hooks always goes towards uh, the front of the vehicle when you first install them. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and drape it over a tire. Make sure you have it even across the tire. It doesn't have to be exact, you can go by feel. Okay. And what I like to do is tuck the ends under as close as possible. Okay, we'll go ahead and roll forward just a little bit so we have easier access to our connection points on the inside edge of a tire. Now I need to stretch the chain over tire just a little bit. All right, and we'll go ahead and make a connection on the inside. They simply hook like this. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you know, just enough to take up the slack. I think on the second stop right here will work just fine. All right, now we'll go to the outside and do the same thing. Now you notice we use the second stop on the inside. We want to be within one stop, either front or back of our second one. So we'll go ahead and try to go for the next one up if we can. Put it into place. There it goes. And then we simply take our lever, and you can watch it take up slack, and it tightens up around the tire. And then, if you notice, our handle has an opening right here that sits over our cable to keep it in place. There. Okay, once it's clipped into place, it should get tension on the cable, and you should be good to go. Now with it in place, you definitely want to drive it a short distance, maybe the length of a truck or so, just to verify you have enough tension on here. Now there are certain situations and tire sizes that may need some additional help with the tension on the cables. In that case, you can use part number PW105. Okay, this is basically this is a metal ring with some rubber straps and some hooks on them that equalize the pressure on the cable. Basically, they just have six hooks. You just want to put them in place and make sure the hook stays away from your tire. And then just go ahead and spread them out as even as possible. All right, with your tensioner in place, you can see that it did have a good grip before, but you can see how it pulls on the cable and even makes a tighter grip on the tire. And the manufacturer does re uh, recommend the use of these whenever possible. And with that, that'll finish it for the Glacier Cable Snow Tire Chains, part number PW3027C on its 2009 Chevrolet Silverado.